Stephen Frederick Seagal is an American actor, producer, screenwriter, martial artist, and musician. A seventh Dan black belt in Aikido, he began his adult life as a martial arts instructor in Japan where he became the first American to teach in an Aikido dojo. Wikipedia Born April 10, 1952, age 72 years, Lansing, Michigan, United States Spouse, Erdenechuya Seagal, M. 2009, View More Martial Arts, Aikido, Karate, Judo, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, Kendo, Shito Ryu Children, Ayako Fujitani, Arisa Labrock, Kentaro Seagal, Dominic Seagal, Savannah Seagal, Analyza Seagal Height, 1.93 meters Stephen Frederick Seagal was born in Lansing, Michigan, to Patricia Ann Fisher, a medical technician, and Samuel Seagal, a high school math teacher. His paternal grandparents were Russian Jewish immigrants, and his mother had English, German, and distant Irish and Dutch ancestry. The enigmatic Seagal commenced his martial arts training at the age of seven under the tutelage of well known karate instructor and author Fumio Demura and in the 1960s commenced his Aikido training in Orange County, CA, under the instruction of Harry Ishisaka. Seagal received his first Dan accreditation in 1974, after he had moved to Japan, to further his martial arts training. After spending many years there honing his skills, he achieved the ranking of a seventh Dan in the Japanese martial art Aikido, and was instructing wealthy clients in Los Angeles when he came to the attention of Hollywood power broker Michael Ovitz. Ovitz saw star value in the imposing-looking Seagal. The high-octane action movie genre was in full swing in the late 1980s, and Seagal's debut movie, Above the Law, was wildly received by action fans and actually received some complimentary critical reviews. He followed up Above the Law with another slambang thriller, Hard to Kill, 1990, as a cop shot in an ambush by the mob who revives from a coma to take his revenge. The movie also starred Seagal's wife at the time, Leggy Kelly LeBrock, who was married to him from 1987 to 1996 and is the mother of three of his children. His next outing was battling voodoo using Jamaican drug posses in the hyperviolent Marked for Death, 1990, before returning to fight psychotic mob gangster William Forsyth in the even more punishing Out for Justice, 1991. Seagal was by now enormously popular, and his next movie, The Big Budgeted Under Siege, 1992, set aboard the battleship USS Missouri and also starring Tommy Lee Jones and Gary Busey, was arguably his best film to date, impressing both fans and critics alike. Seagal's fighting style was rather different from that of other on-screen martial arts dynamos such as Bruce Lee, Chuck Norris, and Jean-Claude Van Damme, who were predominantly fighters from striking arts backgrounds such as karate or Tang Soo Do. However, Aikido is built around using an opponent's inertia and body weight to employ various locks, chokes, and holds that incapacitate him. Seagal carries himself differently, too, and often appears wearing Italian designer clothes and usually favors an all-black outfit, generally with a three-quarter length coat with an elaborate trim. Additionally, Seagal's on-screen characters were often seemingly benign or timid individuals, however, when the going gets rough they reveal themselves to be deadly ex-CIA operatives, or retired special forces soldiers capable of enormous destruction. As his box office drawing power grew, Seagal began to infuse his film projects with his personal and spiritual beliefs, especially concerning the abuse of the environment. He appeared as an oil fire expert who turns against his corrupt CEO, played by Michael Caine, in On Deadly Ground, 1994 to save the Eskimo population from an oil disaster, in Fire Down Below, 1997, he plays an environmental agency troubleshooter investigating the dumping of toxic waste in Kentucky coal mines, and in the slow-moving The Patriot, 1998, he plays a medical specialist trying to stop a lethal virus unleashed by an extremist group. Action fans struggled to come to terms with social messaging being built into bone-crunching fight films, however, Seagal's box office clout remained fairly strong and more traditional Chopsaki projects followed with the buddy cop film The Glimmer Man, 1996, then almost a cameo role as a Navy SEAL alongside CIA analyst Kurt Russell before Seagal is sucked out of a jet at 35,000 feet in Executive Decision, 1996.
In 1999, Seagal took a different turn in his film projects with the surprising genteel prince of Central Park, 2000, about a child living inside NYC's most famous park. He returned to more familiar territory with further high voltage, guns blazing action and exit wounds, 2001, half past dead, 2002, out for a kill, 2003, and belly of the beast, 2003. Unbeknownst to many, in 1997 Seagal publicly announced that one of his Buddhist teachers, His Holiness Pena Rinpoche, had accorded Seagal as a tulku, the reincarnation of a Buddhist lama. This initial announcement was met with some disbelief until Pena Rinpoche himself gave a confirmation statement on Seagal's new title. Seagal has repeatedly discussed his involvement in Buddhism and how he devotes many hours studying and meditating this ancient Eastern religion. While his box office appeal has somewhat declined from his halcyon blockbusters of the mid-90s, Seagal still has a very loyal fan base in the action movie genre and continues to remain a highly bankable star. Family Spouses Erdenechuia Batsik, 2009-present, one child, Kelly LeBrock, September 5, 1987-1996, divorced, three children. Adrian Larusa, May 31, 1984, September 1987, annulled. Miyako Fujitani, December 1974, 1987, divorced, two children. Children. Annalisa Segal. Dominic Segal. Arisa Lubrock. Kentaro Segal. Ayako Fujitani. Kunzang Segal. Savannah Segal. Parents. Patricia and Fisher. Samuel Seagal. Relatives. Brenda Seagal, sibling. Trademarks. Ponytail. In all of his films, he is seen holding a Colt M1911A1 semi-automatic pistol. He owns several in his private collection. Uses Aikido in fight scenes. Quiet, husky voice. Corrugated eyes. Towering height. Hulking frame. Aqualine features. His films usually have three words in the title. Usually plays former government agents or military personnel. Often plays characters named John, Jack or Jake, most notably John Alexander. Physically dominates opponents in all his fight scenes, rarely if ever being hit himself. His films often reflect his conservative political views and interest in environmentalism. Frequently works with directors Keone Waxman, 10 times, Donnie Fauntleroy and Michael Cush, 3 times each. Wears black clothing. Hair slicked back. Trivia. Broke Sean Connery's wrist when he was teaching him martial arts during the filming of Never Say Never Again, 1983. Has been visiting children's hospitals for more than 25 years, and has stated that he will continue to do so until the day that he dies. Speaks Japanese fluently, was already 36 when he made his acting debut in Above the Law, 1988. For almost 20 years, Seagal has been working as a fully commissioned deputy with the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office in Louisiana. For almost 20 years, Seagal has been working as a fully commissioned deputy with the Jefferson Parish Sheriff's Office in Louisiana. Has a 7th degree master rank in Aikido. Seagal also hold black belts in judo, kendo, and shitoryu karate, under Fumio Demura, and trained with the Machado brothers in Brazilian jiu-jitsu and Dan Inosanto in Cali Escrima Arnis, has been a bodyguard. Owns a very large collection of guitars and samurai swords. In an interview on Reels Channel, aired January 4, 2013, he stated he has worked with St. Jude Children's Research Hospital in Memphis, Tennessee for over 25 years. Is the first foreigner ever to own and operate an Aikido dojo in Japan. Known as Master Take Shigemiki, he was the chief instructor at the Aikido Tenshin Dojo in the city of Osaka. Has three children with Kelly LeBrock, Annalisa Seagal, Dominic Seagal, and Ursa LeBrock. He agreed to star in Under Siege 2, Dark Territory, 1995, if Warner Brothers allowed him to direct on Deadly Ground, 1994. He gained a reputation in the 80s and 90s for not pulling his punches during fight scenes and deliberately hitting stuntmen. Stunt performers and coordinators such as Kane Hodder, 
Stephen Quadruche and Jean LaBelle have publicly criticized and refused to work with him over this. In addition, actors William Forsyth and John Leguizamo have recounted incidents where he physically assaulted them on set in response to perceived slights, on Out for Justice, 1991, and Executive Decision, 1996, respectively. As of 2006, his movies have earned $600 million worldwide. He and Jackie Chan are friends, and Chan offered him the role of the villain in Rush Hour 3, 2007, but Seagal turned it down. While his acting in Above the Law, 1988, gained praise from the likes of Roger Ebert, Seagal has repeatedly faced criticism from both critics and fans who accuse him of playing the same character in many of his movies, as well as displaying a lack of emotional range. In fact, some people refer to embracing typecasting as Seagalism. His movies that were produced between 2003 and 2009 were released direct to video, although The Patriot, 1998, and Ticker, 2001, had the same fate. This ended with Robert Rodriguez's Machete, 2010. By most accounts, he is notoriously difficult to work with. Several actors reported arguments and even brawls with the hot-tempered actor whenever he perceives insults against his person. He is known to openly criticize and belittle cast and crew members on set, and his bankable action hero status in the 1990s also had him often demanding script rewrites on the spot. Was asked to play a cameo in Sylvester Stallone's The Expendables, 2010, but had to turn it down because of his fallout relationship with producer Avi Lerner. However, Seagal joined in another big ensemble film, Machete, 2010. His love of guitar and appreciation of Rasta music led him to study with a teacher in Jamaica, where he owns a vacation home. His favorite actors include James Mason, John Gielgud, Clint Eastwood, Gary Cooper, Spencer Tracy, and Robert Redford. Has another child with Arissa, the nanny during his marriage to Kelly LeBrock, for which their third child was named after. All of his main leading role movies have been rated R except for Half Past Dead, 2002 which was the only Seagal film to be PG-13. The February 17, 1989, draft of the screenplay for Hard to Kill, 1990, credits Stephen Pressfield and Ronald Shizit and Steven Seagal as writers. Pressfield and Shizit are not credited in the final film and Seagal only received an acting credit. Steven Seagal acquired Serbian citizenship on January 10, 2016, from Aleksandr Vucic. His first seven films were all starring roles, ending with Executive Decision, 1996. Typically spends only three hours a day on set. His Santa Inez, CA, home includes 200 acres planted with Cabernet grapes, which are sold to wineries after harvesting, has played a villain only once, in Machete, 2010. It is also one of only two films in which he is defeated in a fight scene, the other being China Salesman, 2017. Stephen's training ritual includes eating at least one whole trifle a day. Is a singer and guitarist. Is involved with an energy drink line, Lightning Bolt, that is available at Walmart. Stephen's mother, Patricia Ann Fisher, was born in Michigan, and Stephen's father, Samuel Seagal, was born in Rhode Island. Stephen's paternal grandparents, Nathan Seagal, originally Siegelman, and Dora Goldstein, were Russian Jewish immigrants. Stephen's maternal grandparents, Fred Joseph Fisher and Lana Irene Lewis, were from families that had lived in the United States for many generations. Stephen's mother had English, German, and distant Irish and Dutch ancestry, has a sister named Brenda who lives in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Claimed in 1993 that his daily exercise regime comprised a two-hour workout of cardiovascular exercise, treadmill, and weightlifting followed by private martial art instruction. Father of Kentaro Seagal and Ayako Fujitani. Attended Buena Park High School in Orange County, CA, where students knew him as Steve Siegel. Discovered by then head of Creative Artists Agency, CAA, Michael Ovitz, who was one of Seagal's martial arts students. Steven Seagal acquired Russian citizenship on November 3, 2016, from Vladimir Putin. Married second wife Adrian Larusa, before his divorce from first wife Miyako Fujitani was finalized, they married in Japan. He eventually had the marriage to Larusa annulled when he began dating third wife Kelly LeBrock, 
who became pregnant with the couple's first child. Owns new production company Streamroller Productions, with Bing Dang and Joe Halpin after his old production company Seagal slash Nassau Productions, dissolved. Is a producer or executive producer on nearly all the projects he's acted in, essentially funding a good portion of his career himself. January 5, 2014, according to the Washington Times, Steven Seagal announced that he is considering running for the governorship of Arizona. Used to own a production company with Julius R. Nasso, called Seagal Slash Nasso Productions, from 1994 to 2000. Is a singer and guitarist. Is involved with an energy drink line, Lightning Bolt, that is available at Walmart. Stephen's mother, Patricia Ann Fisher, was born in Michigan, and Stephen's father, Samuel Seagal, was born in Rhode Island. Stephen's paternal grandparents, Nathan Seagal, originally Siegelman, and Dora Goldstein, were Russian Jewish immigrants. Stephen's maternal grandparents, Fred Joseph Fisher and Lana Irene Lewis, were from families that had lived in the United States for many generations. Stephen's mother had English, German, and distant Irish and Dutch ancestry, has a sister named Brenda who lives in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. Claimed in 1993 that his daily exercise regime comprised a two-hour workout of cardiovascular exercise, treadmill, and weightlifting, followed by private martial art instruction. Father of Kentaro Seagal and Ayako Fujitani. Attended Buena Park High School in Orange County, CA, where students knew him as Steve Siegel. Discovered by then head of Creative Artists Agency, CAA, Michael Lovitz, who was one of Seagal's martial arts students. Steven Seagal acquired Russian citizenship on November 3, 2016, from Vladimir Putin. Married second wife Adrian Larusa, before his divorce from first wife Miyako Fujitani was finalized, they married in Japan. He eventually had the marriage to Larusa annulled when he began dating third wife Kelly LeBrock, who became pregnant with the couple's first child. Owns new production company Streamroller Productions, with Bing Dang and Joe Halpin after his old production company Seagal slash Nassau Productions, dissolved. Is a producer or executive producer on nearly all the projects he's acted in, essentially funding a good portion of his career himself. January 5, 2014, according to the Washington Times, Steven Seagal announced that he is considering running for the governorship of Arizona. Used to own a production company with Julius R. Nasso, called Seagal Slash Nasso Productions, from 1994 to 2000. Father of Savannah Seagal with Arissa Wolf. Had his own group, Steven Seagal Thunderbox. According to ex-wife Kelly LeBrock, Seagal's childhood was beset by severe bullying due to having been frail and ill, the latter corroborated by Seagal's mother, Patricia, who revealed Seagal had been extremely frail and asthmatic in his youth. He was among the actors considered for the title role in Batman, 1989. Offered his fellow sheriff's deputies free tickets to a concert, benefiting the New Orleans Children's Hospital. They accepted the offer and attended the concert. The UFC and MMA Brazilian fighter Anderson Silva, a.k.a. The Spider, has learned some moves with him. Appeared in Mountain Dew commercial. Has worked with Damian Chapa and Byron Mann in two of his films as his teammates. He worked with Chapa in Under Siege, 1992, in which Chapa is a fellow sailor, and with Man in Belly of the Beast, 2003, in which Man's character is his friend and partner was awarded a special honor in Zurich for being the first civilian to successfully defuse, alone, a nuclear device in a briefcase that would have destroyed the whole country of Bulgaria during the filming of Submerged, in 2005. He lost nearly two stones to appear in the film Exit Wounds. Since his debut in 1988, Seagal has had top billing in one to two films every year, with the exceptions of 1989, 1993, 1999 and 2000. In both 2005 and 2009, he had no less than four starring roles, in 2016, he had six. However, since 2002 the amount of time he's actually on screen has greatly varied from movie to movie, with many of his post-2010 films making him a prominent but ultimately minor part of an ensemble cast. He had no releases in 2020 or 2021, but several projects are in various stages of pre-production. While filming an episode of Steven Seagal, Lawman, 2009, 
The torso of one of his daughters shows up in the background of a shot while the crew is filming the training of Stephen's two German shepherds. Is a known supporter of politicians, Vladimir Putin, Alexander Lukashenko, Viktor Yanukovych, Ramzan Kadyrov, Denis Pushilin, Ilham Aliyev, Nicolas Maduro, and Alexander Vucic. Steven Seagal opened Center March 2023 in Moscow to teach Russian military recruits martial arts. Honored with the Russian State Order of Friendship by Vladimir Putin in February 2023. President Vladimir Putin gave him an Order of Friendship medal for his work in supporting the nation. Quotes I am hoping that I can be known as a great writer and actor someday, rather than a sex symbol. On what he thinks are the most important lessons that one should strive to live by in Aikido, try to find the path of least resistance and use it without harming others. Live with integrity and morality, not only with people, but with all beings. On his feelings regarding past movies, Hollywood is a mercurial place where people are sort of a victim of their environment and how the environment changes. Movies that would be timely now, ten years from now, would be passé and nobody would be interested in the subjects. All the movies that I have done I have not been in control of. Sometimes there is a contractual situation where you go to the studio and they kind of tell you which ones they want you to do. Be that as it may, I have also been lucky in the sense that I have been able to make environmentally conscientious movies as well as politically conscientious movies. Above the Law, 1988, was a politically conscientious movie. On Deadly Ground, 1994, was environmentally conscientious, so I want to keep making movies like that which are more geared with a certain entertainment value but also bring people forward into contemplation. On President Gloria Macapagal-Arroyo of the Philippines, I've never met her, but my impression of her is that she's very straight, sincere, honest, really talented president, and I hope she gets re-elected. <laughs>